Surviving for potentially months here is one thing, but people have other needs, communication, for example. The most valuable thing many of these people have is their mobile phones. There are thousands of them here and they need to be charged. There's no power to speak of. And again, the more experienced folk have set up little solar panels to, you know, at least charge a phone. Uh, and they actually charge money from others to let them use them. Greetings, friends. This is Survival Doc. Today, I'm doing a review on the Waka Waka rechargeable flashlight and power source. It comes in yellow or, my preference, black. It is a very powerful, efficient flashlight with two LEDs. It has four different settings. If you hold the button down for two seconds, it flashes SOS. But the best thing about this is it contains a solar charger on the back. It has a high efficiency solar panel on the back. This convenient little stand, you can fold it out, put it in the sun, and it will charge 100% uh, in eight hours in the direct sun. Or you can charge it by plugging in your standard mini USB uh, plug. This is the, uh, the standard plug that comes on uh, most of your smartphones. You can plug it right in here, charge it. Just as you would your cell phone. It'll charge in about four hours this way. Or you can charge it with your USB from your computer. The output is a standard USB output. So you can use it to charge your cell phones. Here's my cell phone. This thing will charge my cell phone about three times. I have a, it depends on your cell phone. If you have a uh, smartphone, it'll probably only charge it once or twice. I have a low tech cell phone. I can plug it right in there and charge my cell phone. Also, any other rechargeable device. This is my uh, camera. Plug it right in there and char charge my video camera. So anything that charges from a USB port, like the ones on your computer, you can charge with this device. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. <laughs>